Okay, so today we're going to be looking at this nasty stuff here on the steel sheet. And what is that? Well, if you know a lot about 3D printing, you'll know that that is support material. And this video is going to be about some of the complications of using support material and how we can resolve them. So recently I printed this gearbox housing. So this is the lid for it. And as you can see, it's got an extruded part on the bottom. So I had to print it with support material. So what I did was print it this way and when I removed the, uh, the print a lot of the support material was still stuck on the steel sheet. Now if you're printing in PLA this tends not to happen. PLA comes off the, heat, uh, the steel sheet really really nicely but I was using uh, PETG so if you're using PETG or ABS this is much more likely to happen and the problem is it's really really difficult to get off so what I'm going to do is show you how you can remove it I'm also going to show you some ways not to remove it so first up you might be really tempted to try and use something like this something really sharp and you might try and dig away and try and scrape that off I highly recommend you do not do this simply because these steel sheets have a special finish on them and when you scratch it too much, you're going to have trouble trying to get prints to stick to the surface of the steel sheet. So do not try and scrape it off. I've seen a lot of people, you know, really hacking at it with, um, you know, like wallpaper scrapers. And some people try a razor blade approach. So they'll put a razor blade flat like this and drag it towards the um, support material. If you're going to scrape away at it, that's the best way to do it, but still avoid it at all costs. There's a really simple way which I'm going to show you. So believe it or not, the best way to remove support material like this from the steel sheet is to reprint over it. And make sure that you use the exact same material that you used for the support material. So in my case it was PETG for this um, gearbox part. So I'm going to show you how to do that and show you how easy it is and how much safer it is to do it this way. So I'm going to show you now in Slicer how to sort of line it up and get the right spot and then we'll come back and see how it goes. Alright so now I'm in Proofs of Slicer so what I want to do is just add a basic object so I've modeled up a cube in Fusion 360 and I'll leave a link to it in the description so you can go and download it. But all we want to do is import a basic cube scale it up to the size that we need and then export it so we're going to click the add button and i've got this file cube.stl again i'll leave it in the description and this will bring out a cube in our uh, workspace so what we're going to do is click on the cube and hit the scale tool here on the left and this allows us to scale over the area that we need to remove that um, support material from so roughly eyeball it so obviously you can look at the steel sheet and what's nice about the slicing software is it gives you those grid lines as a reference. So I know my um, support material is just over sort of one of these squares. So if I scale this to the size that I need, and bear in mind you, you don't need to have it that high so you can lower the, the height of the object. And even so, when you're printing it, you don't actually have to print the whole thing because if you think about it, um, that support material is very low so only a couple of layers really maybe five six layers should be enough for you to remove it so I'm going to scale it down as much as I can just to avoid because you know while this isn't an ideal method you don't want to waste plastic either this is kind of a if you're desperate this is like a last resort just print over it it'll come off so you want to drag it over the area roughly where it is and I think that's where it is, I'll double check. Yep, that should do it. I think I'll go a little bit more actually to about there. Now that should print over whatever support material I can't get off the steel sheet. And now what we're going to do is slice this up and again you can use draft for this because you know we're not printing anything particularly useful. Uh, remember to select the plastic that you used to print that support material. So in my case, it's PET and infill. Uh, you haven't got to worry about that. You can just leave it at 20%. Uh, 
obviously no support, no brim, and that's it. You slice the model. So I'm going to export this now to my 3D printer, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so the print's finished and you can see that we've printed over the area where we had that support material that was just welded to the steel sheet. And I'm going to show you that if I pop this print off that the support material will come off with it and you'll see it on the bottom. And that's part of the reason why I did it in a different colour too. So if we take the steel sheet off and we just pop it and again on this side you should be able to pull it off nicely. And uh, if I put this back down, so there we go, you can see uh, the support material that was stuck. You know, if you look underneath, that's not too bad. You can see we've still got a couple of marks there, but they'll wipe off nice and easily. And we haven't, we haven't had to put any deep scratches or any damage to the steel sheet. So if you do ever run into this issue, I highly recommend you print something like I've done here. Okay, we've wasted a bit of plastic, but I mean, this is a kind of... Um, it's a last option if you like so you know you'd be really surprised how welded that support material was to the steel sheet and this is honestly the best way to do it so I hope you found this really useful so before you go I just want to say thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate all of you that subscribe and watch my videos it means a lot if you're new to the channel consider subscribing for more videos and please leave a thumbs up on this video if you found it useful if you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below where you can do that, but it's up to you. If you want to see more of my videos, click one of these, and I hope you have an awesome day.